Yeah, go ahead. So uh, this is a 71-year-old male that has head and neck cancer, and uh, he's indicated to have a gastrostomy placed because of poor nutrition and a partly obstructive oropharyngeal cancer and uh, some aspiration pneumonitis. He was an inpatient, and uh, general surgery was consulted to do a laparoscopic gastrostomy placement. Uh, the procedure was performed, and it was technically successful. Uh, but on post-op day number four, uh, the patient developed diffuse abdominal pain, nausea, and blood in the percutaneous gastrostomy tube. And so a CT was ordered to evaluate uh, the patient. So now I'll go to the, oops, and now I'll go to the, the uh, I got to escape and go to the images. Here's the, the pet that preceded uh, the emergent CT, and uh, here's the head and neck cancer, uh, the reason for the percutaneous gastrostomy tube. And uh, you can note that here's the gastric anatomy. I think possibly the reason that uh, IR didn't do the PEG is because of the interposition of the colon in front of the stomach here that you can see. Uh, so here's the CT uh, with the emergent presentation of uh, the vomiting and the blood in the G-tube. Here's axial images here. There's a little bit of atelectasis in the left lower lung, uh, maybe a little left pleural fluid. And then uh, what you see here is the uh, distended stomach. And we're looking for where's the percutaneous gastrostomy. And it kind of goes in hmm. there. Oh, wow. Wait, sorry. It's... The anatomy is a little confusing, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, it helps maybe to see that this is the transverse duodenum here behind the mesenteric root, and then to follow that back to here and to here and to here and to there and to there, and then here's the gastrostomy. Uh. So where did it go? I'll show you it in the coronal now. It's like a gastric outlet obstruction from like the kinking or? It is a gastric outlet obstruction, exactly. And uh, so here's the distended stomach. Here's that abnormal anatomy here that leads back to the gastrostomy catheter here. And so, uh, so this is a, a volvulus that's a complication of the gastrostomy placement. Gastric outlet obstruction caused by a volvulus of the distal stomach that's related to the uh, gastric outlet obstruction. I guess it's too distal, huh? So it created a little... Yes. Uh, so, so, so I'm trying to figure out how, how to switch. There was a... Uh, there was a... Uh, uh, that was stated, but they wanted to do a GI study, so I'll show you the GI study uh, real quickly here. Uh, the, the reader of the GI study basically said that they couldn't confirm that the gastrostomy catheter was actually in the lumen or not. Mm -hmm. uh, but in, in retrospect, you know, looking at the CT and looking at this, I think what we're seeing is contrast going into that distal part of the stomach and then going mostly upstream and, and ending up in the pool of uh, contrast at the, at the fundal area. So nar narrow distal stomach kind of folded around and then it dribbling back in. And really you got, you got maybe just a little bit going downstream right here. But most of, it, most of it's going uh, just into the lumen of the stomach and a little bit across the, uh, the distal stomach and downstream. But again, it was just basically read as couldn't, couldn't verify that this was for sure intragastric. Um, and I'm going to go back to my, uh, we can come back to this case if you guys want to look at it some more with comments, but uh, uh, so this is a CT showing torsion of the distal stomach causing the gastric outlet obstruction. And again, the floral red is cannot verify gastrostomy in the stomach with my commentary. Uh, they did an endoscope at surgery and uh, they did not see the gastrostomy uh, catheter in the lumen. They couldn't find it. So then they did converted to laparoscopy and they saw the torsed and tethered stomach. Uh, 
and they, they found the gastrostomy site uh, four centimeters from the pylorus. Uh, they pulled that out, patched it, they created a new gastrostomy, uh, and it was a little farther away from the pylorus, a little bit uh, more upstream from the pylorus. Uh, so I, I did a lit search on this, uh, and here was the best article I saw on it. It was uh, Radiologic Evaluation of Gastrostomy Cal Complications, 1983 in AJR, and uh, the gastric outlet obstruction was the most common complication, 11 out of 30 cases, and of those, uh, torsion was two of the 11 cases, but uh, dislodged two, blocking the pylorus was more common, and pylorospasm uh, caused by the, the, uh, the G-tube was another common cause, and then adhesions was another, but they did, they did have two cases that were torsion, so, uh, People should know that gastric outlet obstruction is a rare complication following gastrostomy two placement, and uh, torsion of the stomach, as in this case, is a less less common than uh, the tube dislodged and sort of blocking the pylorus or pylorus spasms. And uh, as Nellie mentioned, uh, possibly the position of the gastrostomy tube uh, too too far downstream might have contributed to the the uh, the patient developing torsion in this case. So that's all I have for my case. Uh, I'm open to having any uh, comment. If we want to go back to the images, it's up to you.